Good morning, it is the 12th of April 2021, 16 degrees Celsius, 7.30am and you're looking at the Brisbane River from Newstead Park. There's one of the city cats going by there. Look at that beautiful rotunda. Looking out onto the river. I wonder if he's having any luck with his fishing. There's a, a monument there to the Americans coming in and helping the Australians during the Second World War. In the 50th year of victory in the Pacific, this plaque is dedicated to the Australian and American servicemen and women who sacrificed their lives so that we may enjoy peace. We will remember them. get back and get a good view of this monument as I said we're in Newstead Park there's the eagle on the top get a closer view there And on the other side, this plaque commemorates 200 years of Australian-American friendship in peace and in war. And may the next 200 years bring only peace. Oh, the knapsack I've got on my back is starting to fall down. Well, it wasn't all friendship. I know that's what we'd like to remember, but when the Americans were here during the Second World War in Brisbane, it wasn't all good memories. On the 26th of November and 27th of November 1942, rioting broke out between US and Australian servicemen stationed in Brisbane, and by the time the violence had been quelled, one Australian soldier was dead, and hundreds of Australian and US servicemen were injured, along with innocent civilians caught up in the fighting. Hundreds of soldiers were involved in the rioting on both sides. And this incident, which was heavily censored at the time and apparently wasn't even reported in the United States at all, is known as the Battle of Brisbane. So it wasn't all friendship, but in the main, we got along and the Australian and American forces did the job that needed to be done. This is interesting, here at Newstead Park. The tide height at the present time at Newstead Wharf is shown below by the arrow and height scale. I can't make anything out there, I'm sorry. But uh, on the other side here, this uh, apparently is the electric tide recorder installed here, which was presented by the British India Steam Navigation Company. 
to the Government of Queensland on the occasion of Queensland's centenary back in 1959. So as I said twice, <laughs> we're in Newstead Park. Newstead is an inner northern riverside suburb in the city of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. In the 2016 census, Newstead had a population of 2,193 people. But Newstead is situated 3.3 kilometres or 2.1 miles northeast of the Brisbane Central Business District. This suburb is bounded by the median of Breakfast Creek to the north and the median of Brisbane River to the east and the northern and western parts of the suburb centred on Breakfast Creek Road is predominantly commercial with the remainder of the suburb particularly near the river becoming increasingly residential. And you're probably wondering what that house is up there. It's called Newstead House and this suburb takes its name from Newstead House, built and named in uh, 1846 by pioneer grazier Patrick Leslie, which in turn takes its name from Newstead Abbey in Nottinghamshire, England. The suburb's present role, Newmarket, as an upmarket residential suburb, sort of hides its industrial past. Timber yards, asbestos works, wharves and wool stores once dominated the eastern side of the suburb. You can go through Newstead House. Apparently at this point of time, it's closed to the public. We're gonna walk along Breakfast Creek Road when we come out of Newstead Park. And we're gonna be walking up toward the valley. That building over there that you can see, that's the famous, if I can just give you a closer look, that's the famous Breakfast Creek Hotel. Fantastic beer garden out the back, excellent steaks. Mercedes Benz dealership over there. Won't be long and we'll be out onto Breakfast Creek Road. Beautiful gardens through here. There's Bunnings Warehouse. Newstead was first served by 
uh, horse-drawn trams from 1885 and from around 1897 electric trams ran along commercial road until 1962 December 1962 and along Anne and Wickham streets in the valley uh, until uh, April 1969 also along Anne Street in Newstead as well but light uh, street tram and bus depot was located in Newstead too it opened as a tram depot in 1885 saw its last trams in December 1968 and finally closed as a bus depot in the mid 1990s making it one of Queensland's longest continually operating industrial sites and across this road here before I get run over All traces of the depot and its heritage have been obliterated and the site redeveloped. Yeah, that Bunnings is reasonably new, massive building. Here we are along Breakfast Creek Road. Thanks for joining me on this walk this morning, or well, depending on the time of day that you're watching this. A lot of high performance cars for sale along this road. There's the Porsche outlet. If you've got the money and you're in the market to buy a, a Porsche, some people pronounce it Porsche. And if you've got the money to buy one, maybe you can buy me one too. I don't know if you can see too well on there. You can see my face in the reflection a bit there. There's a lot of reflection there. I'll we'll see if I can put my hand up there. That's a little bit better. walking through Newstead. There's the Barudaban Bowls Club over there on the other side of the road. Pretty old bowls club, that one. Give you a closer look at that.
Goes back to 1888, that bowls club. It's established in uh, 1888, making it the oldest bowls club still operating in Queensland. And at the time, the club was within the local government area of Barudaban Division, which was established in 1879 and amalgamated into the town of Brisbane in 1903. And the name uh, Barudaban is an Aboriginal word meaning place of the she oaks. People affectionately call the Barudaban Bowls Club the Boo. Keep walking along Breakfast Creek Road. Should be able to cross here. There's a Subaru dealer there. There's a Subaru Outback, very popular. It's termed an SUV, I suppose. It looks like it's got all terrain tyres on that one there. Yep. Very popular car here in Australia. And we're walking along Breakfast Creek Road. car dealerships along here. There's another area in Brisbane which is famous for its car yards and that is called the that's called Maruka. We call it the Maruka Magic Mile. It's all the car yards but those car yards now are disappearing. It's not what it used to be.
go. As the dealership. Volkswagen. Jaguar. There's a Rolls-Royce dealership in through there. There's your Ferraris. Can't really get a good look through the front there. I've seen a Ferrari with a bit of a hatchback on it. Some other Ferraris there in the distance. Rolls Royce. A lot of expensive vehicles along here.
Okay, as soon as we continue along, we're in uh, Breakfast Creek Road, but as soon as we go across that crossing, in front of us we'll be blending onto Ann Street. Look at that old building up there. It's like something out of a spaghetti western or from Mexico. Very busy this morning, Monday morning, a work day. Is the Tesla building for the all-electric cars. I know they're saying that you can go more long distance with, some, with those cars but the charging stations are still a problem. I know they've got the rapid charging stations for the Tesla cars electric cars but for other EVs you can't use the Tesla charging stations apparently unless Tesla decide to open them up to other EV makes of cars But they're talking about EVs cutting back on pollution. I don't know why we just don't run cars on gas. Wouldn't that do the same thing? You might have a comment about that. My problem is if I bought an EV and I wanted, wanted to do some long distance, how long would it take to charge the car if I almost depleted the battery.
and I'm pretty sure they don't take as quickly as filling up at a Bowser with normal gas or fuel. Hybrid's not too bad either. You've got a combination of electric and fuel. I'll be able to make this walk signal if I'm lucky. Really have to watch this traffic, eh? Nice person let me through. to make one mistake. Otherwise they'll blow their horns at you. It's a lot of inner city accommodation growing in Newstead in the valley. Apartments for sale over there. And we're getting closer to the valley. And if you keep walking, through the valley and just keep walking and walking, you'd eventually end up at Brisbane CBD, Central Business District. And we're walking along Ann Street. We were walking along Breakfast Creek Road, but it blended into Anne. Got to be really careful here on these corners. There's no lights. You just have to watch for cars that might want to turn where I'm crossing, such as this white car. Here's another one. All right.
Mercedes Benz again over there. James Street running down there. BMW There was a Maserati dealership along here. Looks like they've gone. careful along here I think we're right to go Walking up Ann Street. This will bring us on to the intersection of Brunswick.
Here we are in Fortitude Valley, affectionately known as the Valley. So we're in Brunswick Street now. And the street used to run through there. They've made it a pedestrian wall, this part of Brunswick Street anyway. So I'll leave the video here for now. I'll be doing another video very soon today. So check that out. Just a little bit on McWhirters and a bit on the valley. So I hope to catch you on that one. Thank you for joining me on this particular video walk. Please subscribe and like and all those things. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.